Wind turbine blades continue to pile up in Harbor Creek Township, but today we are learning why they're there, where they're going, and when you might be able to see them leave. Our Tom Kowalski has all the details. He's joining us here tonight in the studio. Tom, you talked with Harbor Creek officials as well as the property owner where these blades are. What more can you tell us tonight? Now, Eva, for weeks, Harbor Creek residents have seen crews unloading the massive wind turbine blades off trucks to an empty lot near I-90. And many have been curious about what they're doing there and if they're here to stay. Well, according to Harbor Creek Township Supervisor, that's not the case. For weeks now, drivers traveling east on the I-90 have seen massive white objects piled on top of each other just off the highway. It's not a new building. They're wind turbine blades, used to generate green energy. Many residents have been curious about Harbor Creek's newest addition, including town supervisor Dean Papasello, who says he knows just about as much as anyone else. They did go through our permit process and get a permit from us for temporary storage. Uh, we also had them do stormwater given the size of them uh, and the amount of uh, acreage they take up here. So they had to go through a stormwater plan, so all of that. But essentially, it, it's, it's temporary storage. They're headed elsewhere. We don't really know where that is, um, but they got the, all the approvals they needed for temporary storage. We were able to get in touch with the owner of the property who asked not to give his name, to see what he knows about the turbine blades. Some of them are around 280 feet long, so when they come in from the port and they offload them from the ship, knowing where their ultimate destination is, the parkway is as straight a shot as you're going to get to, uh, you know, to have a logistical issue of getting something that long temporarily stored on uh, the station road property until they move it to its final destination and install it. The owner says he's just renting out the land for a few more months, and while he doesn't know specifically where the blades are headed, he does have a rough idea. Uh, I believe some of them, or most of them, are going to the Jamestown, New York area, and some of them are going somewhere in PA. Now, the landowner did tell us that he expects the turbine blades to be gone by the time the cold weather arrives, but until then, live from the studio, this is Tom Kowalski, here at News Now. Um, we'll keep tabs, of course, on what happens there. Meanwhile, our local chapter of Special Olympics receiving a big donation today. The Firemen Union donating $5,000. It was raised during a golf outing. And this money will help our local Special Olympic golfers. This money that we're collecting will help our golf team and uh, in their travels and equipment costs and uniform costs and other Special Olympic athletes throughout the community uh, that participate in other sports. This is pretty big because Special Olympics Erie is a local nonprofit that works solely off of donations. It serves athletes throughout our area. And of course, we'll have more information if you want to check this out. Still again, even share it with someone you know on our website, erienewsnow.com. We'll be right back.